A man is behind bars tonight after running from police. Tony Diaz is facing drug charges out of Fairfax County and thought troopers were pulling him over for that. Turns out they were just pulling him over for driving on the shoulder of the road. That's when he tried to evade officers by running through a creek into a neighborhood. Only on 10, our Amy Avery spoke with witnesses and has their reaction tonight. He put like three numbers in, three, maybe four, and all of a sudden the cops showed up. An unexpected encounter that took a turn in seconds. Actually, I just finished this. Les Baldwin was installing a handrail on a neighbor's home when a man walked up and asked him to use his phone. He dialed a couple of numbers and he said, I'm cold. Can I go inside? Dave and I looked at each other and we were like, that's a little odd because it was like, what, 75, 80 yesterday. Baldwin says before they could even respond, they were surrounded by law enforcement. When all the cops came around the side of the house, we knew something was obviously wrong. State police say Tony Brian Diaz was driving on a closed shoulder on I-64. Troopers tried to pull him over, but he exited off the interstate. They say he got out of the car in an apartment complex in West Ocean View and started running. They say he ran through a nearby creek and ended up in this neighborhood near Chester and Granby. He came walking out and he walked up the street and he walked normal like there was nothing going on. Les says it was a scary situation. This shows you the extent of the cars that were involved. There were quite a few of them. But he's thankful Norfolk Police and Virginia State Police responded so quickly. They came around that corner in force, and there was at least 20 of them. I'm just glad it ended like it did. As of today, Tony Diaz remains behind bars, and his next court date is October 12th. In Norfolk, Amy Avery, 10 on your side.